I think this is working. It's hard to tell sometimes. Um, today's St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Um, I've got a lot of Irish heritage, so... Um, but we're going to make some <laughs> corned beef and um, no cabbage, because that just makes me gassy. Um, so we're having corned beef and carrots and potatoes and... Uh, all that good stuff. Um, no green eggs and ham. Uh, maybe ham, but not green, because Lacey said she doesn't want it green. Um, scary night with Lacey, by the way. Just a <laughs> very tiring night. Um, she has been having a cough, so we gave been giving her some cough medicine before she goes to bed um, for the past two nights. And last night we gave it to her, and then about midnight she threw up in her bed and so we went to go clean her up and um, she um, started saying she was dizzy and she pretty much crumbled to the to the ground in the shower and um, it made me very nervous she said that she was having a hard time breathing so I'm not gonna fool around with that um, it made me very scared and so I called 911 and the, the fire department came really fast so um, we've got a great um, fire department. This isn't the first time I've had to call them. Um, unfortunately, um, I had to call them before because um, we had um, Spencer, he, when he was like in first grade, he started a little fire in the backyard. So, anyway. Um, uh, my nephew passed away. Um, it was my sister's um, oldest son her oldest child, um, my sister's Julie, and she was uh, the oldest uh, uh, out of us ten. We have ten. I'm the youngest of ten. She was the oldest. Um, she had four kids before she passed away, and uh, Lance was the oldest. Um, and he was very young. Uh, he died of a um, heart heart attack. Um, he was left behind a uh, a wife and a little boy. Um, that's only five. So I've had a very hard week. Um, it's been very difficult. Um, it's difficult anyways. <sighs> um, I have to really make an effort to be happy because I know that it can be a choice. Um, even if I'm having a bad day, I can still choose to um, take what happens to me and turn it into negative energy or to be positive and to have faith that things are going to to work out so you have to have faith if you don't then you're going to be miserable um, faith and hope love those things are going to see through more hardship and more trials than anything else your faith in your God will take you through some um, moments of uh, darkness so um, I, I'm gonna keep recording because I don't care <laughs> this is life so You have good days and you have bad days. You have a days that you're exhausted and don't want to get up. So you have to make that choice. Um, people were asking me, um, how do you get through things and how do you, uh, you know, my life can be a lot worse. I've been very blessed. Um, I do struggle a lot with my different illnesses that I have, but knowing that I could things can be worse really um, helps me <laughs> doesn't look like it but I'm I cry when I'm mad I cry when I'm sad and when I'm happy I cry a lot almost every day um, but I try character goes behind people that have trials and they don't give up I'm feisty, I'm small, but I 
am not one to be messing with. You don't want to mess with me. Um, I protect what's mine um, and at all costs, and I do whatever it takes to make sure my children are well, um, that things are taken care of, and I will, um, for, for people that I love the most, I will do so much for. Um, all right, this is life. <laughs> Kaiser called me today and wants me to be part of their bipolar study. Um, they're going to be doing um, some studies and tests and um, things like that over time. And so I thought if while they're doing that, um, I could be maybe recording about my wonderful journey um, on here too. Um, I have been getting messages from people, very positive messages. Um, I haven't had any negative messages, um, so people want to know because, you know, everyone learns their bipolar maybe um, different through different channels or different ways and different parts, times in their lives, and um, they struggle. But everyone that has bipolar has got to understand that it's not the same for everybody. There are different levels, different kinds of bipolar illnesses, and what, what it boils down to is you've got to be real with yourself. Know that you have limits. You're not going to be able to do everything, um, but not to limit yourself so much that you pass everything off on, well, I'm bipolar, so there's the excuse. I'm crazy. I don't need to do anything and make excuses why your life maybe is not where you would like it to be. It's in your hands. Um, it's not a get out of jail free kind of illness where you can blame it all, uh, your troubles and your heartache and everything that happens in your life on your bipolar. Um, we all have choices. And I'm so sassy and so stubborn, that's why I'm here today. Um, I, be, besides my family, who's loved me through this, um, besides some really awesome friends that I have that have stuck by me, those that are brave enough to stick by me, those that are um, loving and caring people, um, have never, never ignored me. They've never shunned me or made me feel um, like I was less of a person because of the way my body's chemical makeup um, genetics are. Um, yes, the, the, uh, bipolar is genetic, but there's also so many different things you can do to um, improve your quality of life. One of the most important things that you need to do is to give yourself time and to realize the people that are around you that see you go through different um, events in your life that are frustrating, that are overwhelming, they are supporting you. They need an out too. Don't make them your everything. Um, it's very important for them to have a life and not be all about you. My husband needs to have a life besides me. I can be horrible. Um, I can put all of my family and friends through a lot, um, but I also have a big heart. So I try to make up for my short <laughs> fuse um, by doing things that I know will bring them joy. It's very important that they understand that they are not being taken advantage of, that you're grateful for them. Um, They'll stick by you once they know that you are trying, that you're, you, you appreciate them. People will want to help you. But if you're not trying, you're throwing your life away, doing drugs, which is wonderful to do when you're bipolar. Um, you want to because that's just the way your mind works, but you can't. It's just something that needs to be avoided. Um, go out and enjoy the sunshine. It's very beautiful today. My daughter's really sick, but I think we'll play a little bit sidewalk chalk and um, enjoy a little bit of sun and uh, sign up for Girl Scouts today. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. If my family and friends are watching this, I love you. I appreciate you. And life is good, so go out and